Is the Earth actually flat? I found this Steam game called Flat Earth Simulator. So apparently it's supposed to simulate the Flat Earth model that the Flat Earth Society uses. Let's watch the trailer to this. The following presentation might include information that is highly contested by established consensus. The information will be presented as it stands by the flat earth theory. You, what you might learn can never be unseen. Okay, I'm so ready for this. Not a game. The truth. Victorian age. Oh, here we go. Humanity has given in to the illusion that there is a natural world. Okay. So here's our model of the flat earth that I think we're going to see. That's actually a really cool looking model. So it's basically a globe, but instead of a globe, it's what the flat earthers think. It has mixed reviews. Okay, I want to read some of these. Okay, so a lot of people are saying it's a beautiful model, but it it falls short in other areas. Not an actual simulator. Okay, well, it's only, uh, it's only $3, so I thought I would get it and then we could showcase it. I love the Illuminati icons right here for some reason. Whoa, wait, hold on. There's achievements? 42 achievements in this game? We're gonna need like a uh, flatter simulator speedrun soon. Okay, here we go. We're launching the game. Not a game though. It's the truth. Okay. Uh, what's the giant black bar down here? Oh, should we skip? Since no, the I got. Victorian age, is it just a trailer again? Has given in to the is it saying that it's according to the flatter model, are these the stars? Because that is weird. I don't know what else they would be. Okay, I'm skipping this. Sorry. I'm sorry. Start. Okay. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. So, according to the Flat Earth Theory, the sun and the moon are a lot smaller than they really are. And so the sun only lights part of the world like this, and I guess that's how they simulate time zones. So basically, the, um, the North Pole's right in the middle, and the South Pole, like Antarctica, stretches in ice all the way around. Okay, let's click on the sun. The sun. The sun is a revolving sphere. It has a diameter of 32 miles. 32 miles. So there are a lot of problems with this. Like, why are the why are the sun and the moon doing that? What is supposed to be like? What's in the middle holding them in? Okay, how far can we zoom in? Because I want to like where are the controls. Wait, we can change things. Sun size. Oh, you can burn. Wow. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. We can make the giant sun and burn everything. Why would they have this? That's my question. What's the point of putting this in the simulator? Okay, put these back in normal. Okay, time zones. Yeah, let's turn those on. Okay, so we can see the different time zones, air traffic. So this is showing where the planes fly, I guess. So one of the theories from the flat earth people is that um, because of the way planes fly, that proves that the earth is flat for some reason. It is a cool theory. Okay, wait, I wanna see more. So what if I just go like this? We can kind of see it now. Okay, what are all these? Space programs. Oh yeah, let's learn about what they think about these. The 1950s during the Cold War, two opposing blocks of the totalitarian USSR and the free world under the leadership of the United States. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's talking about the space race. I'm I'm learning a lot here reading this. Basically, what they're saying is that the space race was faked, and NASA and the USSR, I guess, would launch rockets into space just far enough so people couldn't see them, but not like actually into orbit because you couldn't go in orbit apparently, and then they just drop them in the ocean to make people think that they went in space. Here's my thought. If the look, the moon, if it's really only this high up, the moon. we would have flown to it by now. 3,000 miles above the surface. They're saying it's lit by the sun. Okay, wait, hold on. I can disprove this right now. Okay. How is the moon lit by the sun if the sun is like a spotlight? So see how the sun only lights up this area? How is the light from the sun getting all the way over here then, but it's not getting over here on the earth? So if you're on Earth down here, you don't see any sun, but the moon gets the sun? What? Okay, now they're saying the moon isn't even real. They're saying it's a projection or an atmospheric reflection of a body closely orbiting the rim of the Terran plane. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I guess there's... Oh, is that what this is? The Antarctic ice wall. Okay, I want to learn about this. Okay, so basically they think that there's a giant ice wall around this entire edge of the Earth, but how come no one would just go through it that makes zero sense also what is underneath the earth okay also i was just thinking about this how is there gravity how does anything fall there's nothing pulling how would it like where's the force coming from i think like the these flat earthers they think a lot about um they kind of make up where energy comes from because how are these objects staying afloat and moving where's the energy coming from because everything we can observe on a small scale needs energy in and energy out 
Holy wow, why is Australia so stretched? Because it stretches the further you get out. Okay, the cover up. Let's let's learn about this. Oh, here we go. Illuminati. Okay. <laughs> the United Nations flag is the same shape as the flat earth model, but that's just because there's no way to show a sphere on a map. So they had to do some kind of projection and they chose this one. Okay, so they think that NASA faked going to space and they brought back pictures of the Earth that were uh, supposedly fake and then NASA was stuck and they weren't allowed to say that they were in the, that the Earth was flat because they already said it was round. Okay, what about the other planets? Is that, is there any mention of that on here? The Summer Gate, Space Program, the cover up, the Atmo plane, what's this? Okay, that looks like a hot air balloon. Who, who thinks the, the Earth is infinite? Possibly extend as infinitely what? as the Earth does. Okay, so they're talking about people going up into the sky, but if you've seen any videos of that, you can see the actual curvature of the Earth. Okay, we're gonna do some debunking of this now. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Okay, the Red Bull space style. Okay, this is jumping from space. How high is he? You can, okay, if we have like a wide angle camera, you actually can see the curvature of the earth. Okay, well that's just camera distortion. We need a better one. And wait, how do they explain people on the ISS too? This whole thing. Look at the curvature. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually curious. How do they do eclipses? How? Okay, here we go. How flat earthers explain total lunar eclipses? This is actually interesting. So a lunar eclipse is when the Earth's shadow is cast on the moon. So they think there's a different object called a shadow object that the sun goes in front of the sun and blocks out the moon. Okay, this whole thing. It's like they're trying so hard. They'll, they will do no matter, they'll do anything they can, no matter what it is to not disprove the flat earth theory. I understand why people a long time ago thought it was the true. Cause like, you know, they didn't, they didn't have uh, like our current understanding of the earth. So here's how they explain lunar eclipses. Here's the flat earth model again. We have the sun and then orbiting around the sun is some kind of shadow object. And that goes in front of the sun to block the moon. Okay, how do they explain? Wait, so for lunar or for solar eclipses, how do they do that? I don't really know. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video so I know. Get the sticker on spaceshipyt.com. We got more stuff there too. Uh, leave a comment about uh, something Flat Earth related. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.